hey my friends so good afternoon or good night or whatever it is good day for everybody whatever time it is or everywhere and uh, for me it's good night so I'm here and this is the package come from me from Amazon this actually is um, a scanning tool for actually this one does a uh, forced regen for trucks and cars for diesel and gas cars but of course gas cars don't have a, a, f a dpf system so this comes from next 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 thing i think so for f car or whatever um, the company i don't remember but i'm gonna show you guys on a package uh is a nl 102 pp is a pro so let's open the box today i was just going to do a video for the the box and uh, another day i will i will do the video trying the cars and trucks so first i want to say i ordered this device i ordered this device in um gonna at night on the 31st of December 2021 and actually I received it on the 4th in the morning uh, so I received the email saying the device is arrived at the post office close to my house and uh, so barely took four days to arrive in my house or three days so just let's open the box let's see what is inside it's, it's a bit creepy to, to take her out come nice protection so it's good so as the next link nl 102 plus plus p normally when you guys see p is plus so this device is clear codes on cars and trucks in Europe, Canada, US. I live in Canada anyway. So actually even it clears oil and service lights for commons. Actually that's one of the my trucks is commons engine. Another one is Volvo. I'm not sure if we're gonna work on Volvos, maybe clear lights and everything, but do not do the red gen on Volvos because and now it does for Izuki, Inu, Max Force. Max Force actually is the, from International, Detroit Commons. I don't know about if it really works. Shit, I did a mistake. So like I was saying, for four cars, like I think is any car at uh, 1999. I'm not sure. I will gonna try on a Toyota Islander 2005. It has a service lights and a tire pressure. So I'm gonna see what is wrong and I'm gonna measure the batteries for the voltage and everything with this. Uh, of course, I have a problem with my international, so I'm gonna check what is actually what happened. So let's see what is inside of the box of this device. Let's open that careful because if I have to send it back, the package must, must see. So the package come with this nicely bag, it's like a small suitcase or whatever. It's Nexus and then it has a website www.nexustech.com. So let's see what is inside should be the device itself okay so first let's take the device so where it is the device is powered by the con when you connect it on a, on a computer like he I have here to, I'm gonna check you have some updates to do it or no so that's the next link NL 102 Pro plus sorry from Nexus, he has the button for for a, a, a scoot like to get out. He is help some like let's say the device actually gives you some help like if you have a 
any questions about something going to appear up and down left and right and of course is okay let's say you press okay for one option and then if you want to com come back you press it's good so it's very light and it has this rubber over here is a protection if you let and fell on the floor or something at least do not broke not will break sorry so he has this connector is a six pin and nine pin so this is normally is like for a uh, uh, tracks like uh, peter build like mine international kenwood and the older version of volvos and uh, this one actually is good for my truck and actually is a very heavy duty like it's heavy and actually the cables is nice so the It comes with the USB cable to connect the device to the computer to check if you have any updates. And also, it has the, the cable to connect to the device itself to the car. So what this is works is like, you will connect the, this cable to the device Sorry, it's my tablet, it's connected on our Wi-Fi. So you connect this to the device. You connect that for a, a truck or a car, this port over here. And then you, if you need to connect to a nine or six ports, OBD. So you just unplug plug this. And then you chose which one is for your truck. For mine is nine pin so that's what i i got to do so this again this device is good to clear codes here live data and also to do the forced regen for some of the trucks is uh, engines listed on a on a box itself the box actually fell on the floor So that is the user manual, so as you guys know, everything you buy at these days, it comes with a small book to explain in some details how it works. So again, with, on the box, next link NL102 Plus from Nexus, Future, futures and fuse, uh, functions is like you can do a diagnosis, heavy duty trucks, in comp uh, compliance with standards protocols on a J1587, uh, J1939, and J1708. So, this is supposed to work in all cars, minivans, and light duty vehicles on OBD2 and, and CAN. From 1996, actually, I said 1999, but actually, it's 1996 and uh, on latest European American Asian cars supports all OBD2 protocols uh, can like J1850 PWM J1850 VPW and uh, ISO or I think is O uh, 91 41 and KWP 2000. This actually does the oil service hazard for Commons, sensors hazard for Detroit, and the Max Force, etc. Uh, there's the, uh, the, uh, the force regen for the DPF regen for diesel, particular diesel, diesel particular filter, of course. As identified, uh, DPS fault codes for Commons, Detroit, Max Force, ISO. Inu, Kenwood, Peterbilt, Starlink, Western Star, Freightliner, International, etc. Again, I'm not sure about uh, Volvo. Volvo maybe clear the codes, but I don't see for Volvo engine. Well, just, you have to give you a try. So, 
and lucky like features with the battery power monitor fusion uh, it has a troubleshooting for and type guides technicians uh, to the root uh, to the uh, to sorry the root of the problems faster saving diagnosis and repairs on time and time that's true let's say if you get stuck on a highway like i did it with i could not do the first regen so this tool actually it does like not too long ago i did a force regenerator tta and was 100 us dollars so this actually actually will save money and uh, okay the, this is a read and it is generic cool like a p0 p2 p3 and uo manufacturer is specified codes p1 p3 and u one and pending codes is it determine the cause of the check engine light my mil and turns of check and lights uh, mil and clear trouble codes and hazard monitors display dtc definition freeze frame data i am and uh, actually that for the is good for the emissions and give you the vehicle v number cin and cvn information uh actually it did uh, this does like the reading store uh, and playback live o2 sensor test data and read pcm live data stream and uh, extended obd 2 mode 6 so that is for uh, this over here for the cable 6 pin multilingual menu and dct this dtc definitions english spanish and french software update via internet so how that works for the internet is easy so you just go to your computer I have mine actually mine is on you go to your uh, browser no, no matter what browser you so this come from the factory so that means actually I do believe I do not need to update it uh, I go to the website. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, let's just go over here. Let's take the the USB cable. Let's connect to the device. Uh, anyway, is on a right side of the device. Connect the the USB port on one available on your computer the computer automatically detects and as you can guys see over here serial number both hard, uh, hardware and waiting for a PC data okay so I go here for the products I gonna select my product my products should be that's actually for the specified cars actually I don't know the guys have a, some okay is this one here that is mine see the difference that is the old one that's the new one that does everything oh, oh, sorry this one does except the engine regeneration so I click over here and uh, actually if you want some more information you have all the information over here so as you can as you guys can see he's talking everything except Volvo so I cannot say works on Volvo no but I will try so downloads for software if have available is going to say on a website but in this case it's saying uh, notice to date there is no any software update available uh, we will make announcements and publish a newer software uh, here in in the future so that means this device is up to date so 
it's no point let's just see some things on a, on a device I press schools and then the device just turns on itself powered by USB and uh, it says to press OK to do a diagnost but of course I don't want to do any diagnost because uh, I don't it's not connected in any track so so uh, this is to check the codes over here it's automatically try to to the identify the the car or track or ever in this case is is not going to work actually I cannot even do anything in this case not going to work because it's connected on my computer anyway and by the way this cost me only 200 and something dollars in Canadian of course like this like I said because it's not connected on any truck or car so in trucks in J1939 is my truck so I click over here but of course it's not gonna detect <laughs> because again it's not connected it's just connected on a I just wanna we just have to wait a bit Eighty-eight percent. So, like I said, this is doesn't matter because it's not or it's not going to work. Okay, for service, if I want to do a forced regen, so it's going to that is the engines actually does forced regen for Max Four Sense and Detroit Commons Isu and Inu engines. So. And resets, I don't know what that Max Force, Commons, and Detroit Engine. That's it. That is the 16 pin ports. Is this one here? That is for Volvos and stuff like that. But I, like I said, I, I don't believe it works on Volvo, but I will try and uh, over here is for hd service for trucks and actually that's just that just does for commons detroit and max force and this is the codes that's the codes actually tells you which one so if you write the code over here if you will drive the code over here after it actually he, he gonna tells you what it is let's see if you're gonna have this vehicle in the five manufacturer please enter the select manufacturer code so this code do not exist of course and it is over here is to the setup oops sorry to set up a device a language of course I oh actually has Portuguese too just Portuguese Spanish French and English Unit system setting metric US. I'm gonna do it US because actually I'm in Canada, but I, I normally I use US tool information. That's the software information, hardware, serial number, and support. So over here. Like I said, that is for cars, for to check uh, engine lights, etc. That is for uh, heavy duty. That's for the heavy duty uh, DPF system, like for force regen and reset. And that's for the service for the truck is, as well. 
and that's to read the codes and that's to set up actually the device itself so now I'm gonna disconnect tomorrow I'm going to do a, a test and I will do another video about that so keep a, keep yourself watching my channel and I will update a video very very soon uh, about this well, how it works or if it gonna works in a in a Volvo or no so maybe it's a surprise maybe we we'll work at the Volvo I saw some videos so I'm gonna try to do in different trucks this way you guys can see it so just keep watching my channel and don't forget to subscribe and like my channel I really really appreciate and don't forget to share and and do comments too will be nice from you guys and uh, thank you for watching and again from me and the Portuguese tracker so have a great night everybody and uh, I hope everybody has has a very good year bye bye